Hello, and welcome to Health Puppies and World Peace, your source to create your healthiest, happiest, most conscious life. In this episode, we'll be going over the benefits of having plants in your house, as well as how to create cute, unique potting arrangements that anyone can keep alive. Thank you for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button. My name is Brittany, and I am on a mission to bring you transformative information that will help you to be a good human. Okay, so let's dive into some of those benefits of having plants in your house. The first one we're gonna talk about, I'm sure you've experienced without realizing that you're experiencing it. So there have been a bunch of studies that all conclude one thing, and that is that people are just happier when plants are around. It just makes us feel better. There's examples of how having plants in a hospital will actually help people handle pain better. Having plants in your office will increase productivity. Oh, having plants in a classroom can improve grades. Amazing, plants are awesome. The next one, which is a pretty obvious one, I feel like this is probably the benefit most people would accept right away, is that it improves your air quality. In fact, NASA did a study that shows that in just 24 hours, houseplants can pull 87% of air toxins out of the air. That's amazing. That's incredible. We're talking things like benzene, formaldehyde, nitrogen dioxide, and so that could be huge improvement on your day-to-day -day well being. On top of that, we're gonna see reduction of carbon dioxide levels, increase of oxygen levels, you're gonna notice an increase in humidity, a decrease in their air temperature. Overall, you're just gonna have a much more comfortable environment. And then lastly, one that I didn't think about at all, but makes total sense, is that having a lot of plants in your environment helps reduce background noise. The plants actually absorb sound, so it just makes for a much more enjoyable environment. Those are some of the benefits. Remember, you can find all that information in the links below or in the blog writing that goes along with this video. Check it out. Okay, so now to the fun part. I'm gonna show you how to start integrating plants into your home. This is an example of what we're gonna do today. So one of the key things, and one of the things that I was missing in my first misadventures with planting was drainage. I really underestimated the requirement of drainage with my plants here. See, drainage can be tricky because not all containers that you want to use will have a little hole on the bottom, right? But we figured that out with this awesome addition of a rock layer. Not only does it look really cute, but it helps keep our plants alive and keep our plants healthy. What I'll be showing you today is how to create some great drainage, some interesting design, and you can make them really unique. And the great part is, is that this is a totally kid-friendly, fun activity that will add so much to your household. Let's get at it. When it comes to creating this look and that requirement, there's all sorts of different things we can use. So I picked up a few different varieties here. We've got these white marble chips. I just got this from Home Depot, actually. This whole big bag was something only like $4. However, that might not be the look that you're going for. So something like this, I really thought those smaller stones would do a better job for the look that I wanted. I went to the pet store and got some goldfish pebbles. And this is a really fun one to do with kids because there are so many fun colors. If it's a taller container, you could do like multiple layers of different colored stones. Um, and then I do have another option, which is a medium substrate. And that one also came from the pet store. One thing to know about the marble chips though, is there is a, like a silt of dusting in the bag. And so they won't look like this. Um, and in order to make sure that you've got a clean look, have a little container of water that you can dip the stones into before putting them into the container. All right, one aspect that we have to address is that the stones, especially something like these white marble chips that are larger and gonna have bigger spaces in between them, is that the soil is small pieces. And so it could fall down into the stones. And 
that would destroy not only the look of it, but also the drainage requirement. In order to have it so that the soil actually sits on top of that in a separation, I went and purchased some basic screen screen that you just use for a sliding door. And so that made a really flexible material. It has small holes, it's easy to work with. And so that's what I've been using for these layered ones. You can use any pot. Actually, what's really fun, I have this one here. And so you can see there's no drainage, but it's actually a Harry Potter, I think it's supposed to be a mug, but my mom got it for me. She knew that I was starting to do succulent planting and she thought it'd be really cute. So I'm eventually gonna put some of these fun little guys boiling over the top. I'm not gonna do that one today because you can't see through it. So I've picked out this jar. It was a pickle jar. I just soaked it in some water to get that sticker off. All I'm gonna do to start with is pick which sediment that I want. We've got our stones in there. I have already cut out the um, the screening. Now I cut two of these because what I actually like doing is making sure that they are crisscrossed so it makes them even finer holes. So the blog that I wrote up to go with this YouTube video, I did post photos. The link is in the description. You can click on that to see a more detailed picture if you're not quite picking up what I'm putting down here. Make sure it's a pretty snug fit around the edges. Okay, so now that we have the screen in place, we're gonna use some soil. So soil is kind of tricky, especially when it comes to succulents. There is soil that's created specifically for succulent. That's a great one to use. I did have multiple types of plants. Not everything I was doing was going to be a succulent. So I got this one. I talked to the guy at Home Depot. He seemed to really know his stuff. It's a miracle grow and it protects against over and under watering. He assured me that with the proper drainage that this wouldn't be a problem and that these succulents would need to be watered maybe once a week with this kind of soil. Then we can remove our succulent from its previous pot. You just wanna get some of the debris off the bottom. Perfect. Now we have our little succulents with its roots exposed. We can place that down into our jar. And so then what we can do is get more of that soil. I use a basic kitchen spoon to get down into those spaces that I can't really get into with just my fingers so that I can get some soil down and around the plant. You can even use the end of the spoon to kind of pack in that dirt and secure those roots. All right, and then one of the other parts that we're gonna do is I always get a little bit of water, wet down the soil, and that way then I can compact it down because the soil, it's so fluffy and has a lot of air in between the spaces that if you don't do that, then as you water it, it will start compacting more and so it will look like you don't have enough soil in there. Put in a little bit of water all the way around. And what I actually do is just thump it on the ground so that it gets it nice and level. That's a really important step. Okay, you can see how much that soil actually then compacts it down so I can add more soil in there. Awesome, okay. So as you can see though, there is a mess involved. <laughs> So that's why I have this little tray here. So if you're doing this indoors, some kind of Tupperware like this, you got kids playing, maybe do some kind of tarp, <laughs> but um, this works for me. And so then I can just rinse off jar. There you have it. We got a cute succulent in a funky little container. And there you go. That's pretty much it. Have fun with it, get creative. You end up utilizing this information and make something interesting. Show me a picture, post it below. I'd love to see it. <laughs> if you have any questions, by all means reach out and have a lot of fun with it. Enjoy and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe, just hit that button. Feel free to look at all the information below. I'll have links to some of these different items so that it'll make life easier for you so that you don't have to go to the supplies. The supplies will come to you. I think that wraps up this episode. Thank you guys from Health Puppies and World Peace. This is Brittany. Love y'all.